Of it, it washed off. Yeah, then get rid of it. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. You're a sergeant for God. Okay, Chief. Let me work this DWI, okay? Chief, I'm on a DWI. Over here. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Get over here. I'm on a DWI. Chief, I'm working. Get, get I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't you talk to me. Don't you Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. We have to take a look at the hypocrisy this time being displayed by the Bradley Beach Police Department located in New Jersey. As we see a police chief, Chief Guda, if I pronounce his name correctly, and Sergeant Major, as they get into a little bit of a scuffle on scene, and it's kind of a power trip. Before we say anything else, I'm going to play a good portion of the video, and then let's go back and break this down as if it was myself or one of you guys in this position and what would happen if it was us. Let's check this out. Hey, Ron, just pull that up and put it to the shoulder. Yeah. Thanks. What is it? The RMA. I am not the police, okay? I came here with the ambulance. I want to make sure you're okay. Mm. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I'm asking you if he's RMA or not. Oh, yeah, no. What? Yeah. I get that. I'm not saying you aren't. I just want to make sure your head is okay. He's giving them the problem. He's that we need to be aware of. I can't get any. Can you tell me your first name at least? Why do you get a, sh a jacket on that, that's not fit to be worn? What's on the back of it? What do you mean? Look at the tell me what's on the back of it. Oh, uh, it washed off. Yeah, then get rid of it. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. You're a sergeant for God. Okay, Chief. Let me work this DWI, okay? Chief, I'm on a DWI. Over here. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Get over here. I'm on a DWI. Chief, I'm working. Get, get I don't have time to argue about a jacket, get, get okay? Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have a problem? Whoa, you grab me. What? Now get out of here. Before you get a problem. Take him. Take him. No, him. you're going to go in. Take him. Take him. Drunk again. Take him. Whose keys are these? They're mine. Get out of here. No. Chief, get out of here or you're going to get locked up. No. Chief, you're going to get locked up. You grabbed me. I asked you three times come to leave me alone. Here. You're come obstructing over. my DWI. Billy, really come over here. Uh, let him go. That's the first thing. Put, put, Billy, I'm, I'm trying Billy, to get away from everybody. Up, shut up, because you're in trouble now. Stop, no, I'm please, not in stop. trouble. Stop, I'm not stop, trouble. stop. You're going to be in trouble. Stop, stop, Billy. Billy. So let's be honest. Uh, let's just ask the question, rather. Who broke the law? Was it the sergeant who um, responded to the chief by <laughs> basically body slamming the chief on the hood of the car? Or was it the chief who reached his hand out to kind of nudge the sergeant over to the sidewalk so he can talk to him? Um, well, by definition of the law, the chief should not have placed his hand on the sergeant if we're going strictly by the law. You, you can't, you're not allowed to touch anyone, even if you are the chief. But it, it makes the question arise, well, whenever officers give you an unlawful order, hey, get off of that public sidewalk, come this way, and they put their hands out and they escort you or attempt to escort you, is that not the same exact thing the chief did to the sergeant? But yet the sergeant responded with aggression by slamming the chief on the hood of the car. So as we all know, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. This is factual that police do not like those things which they do to others to be done to them. And then after that situation, we see the sergeant go over to the sidewalk and he grabs the chief by his arm. And that's the same thing that the chief just did to the sergeant. If you ask me, I say they're both guilty and they both have just broken the law. Oh, 
Chief, I'm working. Get, get I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Whoa, whoa. You have a problem? What you grab me. What? Now get out of here. Before you get a problem. Take him in. Take him in. No, move. you're going to go in. Take him in. Drunk again. Whose keys are these? They're mine. They're like get out of here. No. Chief, get out of here or you're going to get locked up. No, you Chief, you're going to get locked up. You grabbed me. I asked you three times come to leave me alone. Here. You're obstructing my DWI. Billy, come over here. Uh, let me go. Some of you guys may be wondering, well, wasn't the chief in the wrong? Did he not break the law because he was intoxicated in public? The answer to that is no, because New Jersey does not have a uh, public intoxication law. So in that aspect, the chief did not break the law. But by putting his hands on the sergeant initially, then yes. But pay attention to everything else. Notice the demeanors of the other police officers. They were more willing to listen to the sergeant than they were the chief. This is nothing new. This is a buildup. These guys do not respect or like this chief whatsoever. And it showed during this video. The chief gave one of the officers an order to arrest the sergeant and he completely ignored it. But yet they held the chief back so that he couldn't get to the sergeant. This goes to show that whatever's going on in this department has been happening for a long, long time. And it's now boiling over. That's the first thing. Put Billy, I'm, I'm trying to get away from everybody. Shut up, because you're in trouble now. Stop. No, I'm Please, not in trouble. Stop, 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 stop. You're going to be in trouble. Stop, stop, Billy. 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 Chief, I'm Billy, working at I'm DWI. Listening I'm listening to you. Okay. Shut up. No. You're in trouble, because this is the first thing. First, first of all, I was about to say to you, you stupid. I was about to say to you, what do you need OEM for? You're, that's, you're embarrassing me in front of the men no, about the jacket. No, 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 no. That's, that's neither here nor there. Okay. That, that's neither here nor there. Now we got a real f problem, Billy. Yeah, we do. I know. I we know. do. All right, you're going to have to go inside. No, how about we do no, this? No, 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 no. But we go Billy, inside. Billy, you're going to have to go inside right now with me. You're going to have to go inside and... and we're in a serious be, collision. Billy, you're not doing anything when I'm on the scene, Okay. You should know better than this, my friend. No. Listen you to me. You grabbed me. No, I said you come over line. here. You were out of line. You grabbed me. It's on Billy, video. Billy, it's on video. I'm Billy, not going to argue with it. I have a crash Billy, to work. Billy, I have a job Billy, to do. Billy, you're okay? relieved. Billy, you're relieved. Okay. You're relieved. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Billy, you have to understand something. You're relieved. Billy, you're relieved. Go in the headquarters and wait for me. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to crash. No, no, Billy. You're relieved. I have Billy. officers here, Billy. right here. They Billy. could get waffled because my car is Billy. blocking it. Billy, you're relieved. No, Chief. No, Billy. Please, Billy. Don't. You're suspended, Billy. I'm you're suspended? suspended? Yes. Okay. Then I, I'm yeah. suspended. I'm going home. Yes. Billy, come here. I'm going home. You're going, I, no, we you, can't talk. No, no. I'm suspended. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm suspended. I'm you're going, going to home. And you're going to wait for me there. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna suspended. Go you're gonna go I'm going home. You're going to go in the headquarters and wait for me there. Let me work my crash. No, no, this no, is why no, I'm here. Billy, you're suspended. All right, if I'm suspended, then I'm not going to wait inside. Nothing no, more no, 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 Billy. You have to you have to me explain to you. Billy, you're suspended. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Wait for me in there. That's an order. Can you do me a favor? Can you put your car where my car is so our officers and first aid don't get run over, yes, please? I got you. I got Thank you.
crazy part about that is this. In my book, I wrote about two officers, a lieutenant and a K-9 officer, um, in the patrol room trying to kill one another. I mean, if they were not held back, we don't know what would have happened. But yet, they leave and they go out and they police the street. And if they come across any citizen acting in the same manner in which they just finished acting, that citizen would have probably went to jail. Same thing in this video. You have a sergeant body slamming a police chief on the hood of a car, but if that sergeant saw you doing the same thing, you would go to jail. If that police chief saw you doing the same thing, you would go to jail. Also, this police, police chief, um, we see so many videos where they arrest the cameraman for interference when they're just simply recording or talking, and you hear it all the time. Interference is a physical act. Well, this chief committed a physical act of interference. He came up to your scene, he grabbed your arm, and he attempted to pull you away from the scene. Well, there's another law that you could have arrested the chief for, but the chief was not arrested. Guess it's just us if it happens to us, right? Well, later the chief was suspended. Um, there are some other crazy things going on in the background. He was suspended for showing up on that scene, intoxicated. He caused a ruckus. And um, I want to, I'm curious to see how far this goes, like what happens with this case. Because again, if it's me, it's you, you're in jail. Um, you guys may say, well, you're a former police officer. Why would you go to jail? Wouldn't you get uh, special treatment? No, former is the key word. I'm not a police officer. Um, I left and I stopped being a police officer for a reason. And therefore, I'm an everyday Joe, just like you and just like everybody else. You know, I am a citizen and I'm proud to be that citizen. And I'm in this fight with you guys to make sure the rights of citizens are respected. But I had to show this hypocrisy. This part was crazy. Again, we'll keep our eye on this one. Make sure you know your rights. Always record the police. With that being said, we the People University signing off. Welcome to The GOAT Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. I am your host, Abaya Israel, joined by my two co-hosts, Coach Scott and Coach J.O. Tune into our YouTube and Facebook channels to catch our reactions and coverage of the biggest games and the latest news. Don't miss out on your chance to participate in the action. Join us every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for The GOAT Debate, where you, the viewer, can call in and share your thoughts on who deserves the title of the GOAT. Be sure to mark your calendars. Every Monday, we upload 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and we go live every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to subscribe, call in, and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.